you can practice by making sure you have a good amount of accuracy. So accuracy, having better accuracy of the tones that you want is one way for the cajon to not be as limited. Now, widening, widening our palette now, all right? That's the other way, okay? So all of this is technique. That's technique on the cajon itself can cause less limitation. So what about bass notes? You have bass and snare, but are there other bass notes and are there other snares? Absolutely. Now, you can play the bass note here, but when you come out here, there's a different bass note because it's muted because the frame is on there, all right? So you have another bass note. If I play the, the instrument softer, I don't play as hard Yes, the, the, the volume comes down, but what is also happening is the overall instrument is not vibrating as hard, and the playing face itself is not vibrating as hard and hitting up against the frame. So there are these what is called transients as well as overtones that get introduced when I play louder, okay? There's these other sounds on the instrument as it vibrates, but if I play softer, depending on how it's mic'd, okay, I can now play with the bass note. What that means is, let's say in the beginning of a song, I just want to boom, and it to be slightly heard and a little more felt and just a little more of the actual boom, like the air, as opposed to hearing that. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I wanted to let you know that I have an email newsletter that has exclusive tips, some of the stuff I talk about like in this particular video, but I also expand a little bit more in other areas, and I give away free sounds, and other things as it pertains to percussion. That's the sound and rhythm newsletter. So you can check that out in the description below. If you sign up for that, then there's discounts on my online courses, as well as you get the news up front of things that are coming out. And there's videos that are not here on YouTube where I go into a little more in depth in some other things like on the Cajon and Worship thing, videos that are coming up. I'd love to have you as a part of the community there in the sounds and rhythm email newsletter. It's once a month. This goes out. Check out the description below. All right, back to the video. The attack of the 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 bass, the ch part of my hand and flesh hitting the actual wood. Okay, so we can play with that now in the song. All right, so you have how hard you hit it, where you hit the bass note coming over here now. So those are different sounds that you can have. I can also use my foot to mute the playing face to change the pitch, maybe a little bit uh, higher pitch, or those transients that I was talking about, the rest of the drum, the box, the cajon vibrating is not as much, okay? Because I am now using my foot up against the drum to kind of change the sound and control it a little bit, all right? So I'm using my foot. I can also use my foot to knock against it. All right, my foot it has a different shape. I may have a shoe on. There's, there's different things going on there that's gonna be different to result in a different sound, all right? Now, snares, I can play up here. If I play in the center and how I play with my hands, like a whip bouncing off, almost like a slap on a conga drum, right? But I'm playing here, that's gonna allow it to resonate more. It's gonna allow it to resonate and sound different as opposed to, now I'm muting it, but also playing like a slap, which is this is different than this. Okay, now that can have a big effect on the song. Now if I play, if I'm playing here and I don't like the sound of the snare like this, it might just be because I'm the way I'm holding my hands. So now if I take that idea and bring it down to the bass, now this particular cajon was designed uh, around 2011 time frame. And at that time, it was uh, there was not a lot of cajons where when you played the bass note, there wasn't a lot of bass, I mean snare uh, in the bass. All of the cajons, there was, like snare every if there was if it was a cajon with a snare it was snares everywhere if you played in the bass or the snare so I designed this cajon with the maker uh, Bonham cajons we designed it so that this would be more for like pop contemporary music where you just hear a lot of more of the bass and you don't hear as much of the 
snare. So there's a crossbar in there making a sectional difference between the, the bass and the snare. A lot of cajones nowadays, are, are some are, are like that, but it wasn't many back then. So what that means then, if I come down here and play this bass, I can come over here and get a sharper sound where it's a different type of snare. So now I can go. Okay, as a opposed to, right? So now I can play and hardly get no bass because I'm on the frame and I'm doing a little whip-like motion, all right? So that's a different type of snare, okay? I can do that. And if I don't want the bass, it's a little louder. I come over here. Now I can also play up in the corners. And how I place my fingertips how hard I play and whether or not I change the screw here and tune it by making it a little looser the wood can hit up against the frame differently so that can be like a snare sound if I come in closer towards the center it gets lower pitch if I come in towards the center and down it gets even more lower pitch so now think of this like painting if I want to paint a rose and I want it to be a red rose I need to know where my red paint is. If I know where my red paint is, and I know how to paint the rose, I can go to the red paint and effectively paint the red rose if I know how to make a rose painting. This is like that. If I know where that sound is, I can go to it and I can paint with it, okay? So you have to be able to know and be able to, at any given time without thinking too much about it, where that sound is that you want. It's just like language. All right. So language, uh, having a, a wider vocabulary allows us to be able to articulate ourselves or express ourselves in different manners. So now, what does this look like in function? All right. Let's say in the beginning of the song, I just I have this. And that's it. Just a light bass. And then it goes a little heavier. But now we want to add a light snare. Or. Or this light snare. Take those ghost notes out. And then we have another progression. Now I want to go to a, this bass and a light snare to a heavier snare. Little fill and you see that progression? Now what if I want to mix the light snare with the heavier snare? Now it's a different sound. What if I want to mix the basses? If I just go versus versus boom versus okay, so I it's a slight difference there with the band that makes. Uh, bigger effects okay it changes the emotion all right you can use your fingertips you might as opposed to just ghost notes that's another thing using ghost notes fingertips that being able to play ghost notes in between your rhythms will give you a whole new uh, thing that you can work with a whole new palette all right that can make your playing less limited and that can be practiced by practicing, or perfected by practicing playing ghost notes. Turn on a metronome, two, three, four. I'm playing 16th notes, one E and a, two E and a, three, or eighth notes, one and. So if you play a rhythm, I'm going bass, snare, one, two, three, four. Try to work on being able, go real slow, now to add eighth notes here with my finger note, my finger notes, my ghost notes with my fingertips. So being able to do that now creates a whole new possibility. These are just a few things that, and concepts that when we apply to the cajon, we're less limited now because we can add more ideas to the music on the cajon. 
Hopefully some of this has helped. We'll explore a little bit more. You can check out my playlist for other ideas on playing the cajon. I just wanted to start exploring this idea of making the cajon less limited. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you uh, and give you peace. And I'll see you in the next video.